How's it going, dudes? And welcome back to episode number three of Menus to Glory. Um, today's episode is going to be primarily based on looking at two trading methods that I use. Um, one a lot more than the other one, but both of them can be quite useful. Um, the first one I want to go through, I'll have a look at the trade pile and I'll show you guys the trade pile in a second once I talk about the second method. But the first method um, is the mass bidding technique. Um, you can do this with anyone. Uh, let me just take Inkulu from Torino as an example. Um, he's about 900 coins, I think, maybe 850 now. Um, another thing you want to remember when doing this, when you're selling on, just remember that re it is rewards day. Technically, a lot of people would be playing squad battles, so therefore a lot of packs have been opened. Um, you might find in a few hours time, what time is it now? I think it's about three o'clock. Yeah, th two minutes past three um, on squad battles rewards day. So later on in the evening after six o'clock, maybe if SBCs come out, um, a lot of these players might rise in price. Uh, so in Kulu looks like he's about 900, 900, so 850 would be your sell price for this guy. Um, this method is is ideal if you've got a lot of coins and just want to make steady coins really. Um, 700 coins might get him maybe not but what you want to do is if he's 850 sell price he'll probably rise to around the thousand coin mark so what you'd want to do is you'd want to go here you got in Kulu you want the max price you want to take him up to about 800 coins and just bid a load of 750 coins um a load of 750 coin bids like i say if you've got like 20 to 30k then that'll be ideal for you mass bidding is a is something that I use um, sort of a little bit later on in the year just because just because there's so many people now just buying and selling stuff and there's so much activity on the market that the mass bidding technique doesn't it doesn't really work as well whilst the market is as busy as it is but um, the second method the second method I want to go for is just is just bog standard sniping now, Inkulu's another one that I did start sniping. Um, there is a few before and afters on the transfer market. So 850 is the sell price. You'd want to drop him right down to 700, which is his uh, his minimum. Hopefully, we can drop one up, uh, pop one up for the video. If I can get one, that'd be ideal. If not, I'll just show. I'll go over to the trade pile. I'll show you what I've got, and I'll talk you through um, how I've done it and what I've done. Uh, sniping is good just because it can be done with any amount of coins. It doesn't look like an Inkulu is going to pop for us. So I'll take you over to the trade path. I'll have a quick look. So the ones that have sold here were last night. You'll see Inkulu was 950 last night. He's selling at 850 now. He might creep up to the 1,000 coin mark a little bit later. This Rafinha was selling for 1.1, 1.2. I was sniping him at about 800 coins. Um, obviously, he's low. He's... Uh, He's a low uh, rating, so therefore he's going to be packed an awful amount. He's probably been packed loads today and dropped again. Draxa last night was 2.9 to 3k. Uh, I sold that with 2.9. I could have sold him for 3.1. I underlisted him uh, by mistake, thinking that he was still 2.9. But now, if I look at Draxler, so selling that one at 2.9, I actually got one today just before making this video for 2.3. I'm gonna have a quick look at Draxler. As you can see, I've got some Inkulus there. We'll go back. We'll uh, just quickly list those Inkulus. Uh, yeah, indeed, bought for 700. So I put them up for 850. I know it's only it's only a little bit of like rubbish profit, but it's profit nonetheless. I was hoping for him to go up a little bit, but he hasn't. This Dembele has risen an awful an awful lot. He was about a thousand coins a couple of days ago when I was first buying and selling him. I was buying him for like 750 and selling for like 1,100, 1,200. He's now over 2k. We'll go and have a quick look at Draxler, see what he's going for. We'll list him up. Um, but the sniping method is by far the best method, I think, for making quick coins. Um, investing is obviously something I want to talk about in the next video possibly I mean he's not popping at 2.5 but it's quite a lot here at 2 oh no there's only one page at 2.6 yeah so Draxler's risen a little bit might list mine for 2.7 and try and catch a lazy buyer because there's only there's only a pe two pages of of 2.7s one and a half pages if I refresh probably so I'll sell mine I'll make about 200 coin profit on my Draxler 250 coin profit on my Draxler um, because he's 2.7 if you start buying him you can get him if if he pops for 2.3, I don't have 2.3 coins to show you, but um, well, I do now that those uh, Inkulus have sold for 850. Another thing you want to do, if you can get Inkulu, I know he's only 850 there, but you can you can list to target the lazy buyers, right? 
So if you're buying him at 700, 750 coins, you could list him for 950 or 1,000 and just put him up for the hour. If he sells, he sells. You've made profit. If not, you've not lost a thing. Um, another thing is the Premier League right backs, uh, particularly Coleman and Cedric, I think, from Southampton, are pretty expensive because of just being off nations. Some of the off nations in the Prem aren't very good at all. Um, we'll have a quick look at Dembele. He's another one who's, like I say, has risen massively in price since I started buying him the other day. Uh, Moussa Dembele, I think he's about 2k, isn't he? He's gone up even more. That's fantastic for me because I've bought those other cards. So he's about 2.5k, Moussa Dembele. But because he's so common into packs, people don't realise that he has a value. So this Dembele is a great snipe. Because if he does pop up below a certain amount, like that's 2.4, you'd probably be able to get him for, we'll have a little go at 2,000 coins. You just want to get into the routine of just holding the left direction button on your, I'm on PlayStation, but um, whichever console you're on, hold the left direction, like the D-pad, hold, hold that to the left and just spam, tri I'm spamming triangle on X, it's A and Y on Xbox, I think. Yeah, A and Y. Um get into a nice little rhythm you see I'm just clicking away clicking away clicking away if nothing seems to pop then you can just try and find another player we'll give it to the 14.9 the nothing pops then we will change so nothing oh he did pop but I wasn't ready for it we'll go to uh, another method that I do have um, it's, well it's still sniping but another filter that I do have is uh, left backs from Leon I'm going to take a, take a little look at those. Um, there's one called Kone who's really cheap. Yeah, that guy. I think he's he's really cheap at the minute. Yeah. So you want to ignore him. Pop Brazilian in the pop Brazilian in the filters. And you'll know uh, Markal here has a price of, a sell price of about 850 if you want an instant sell. So that's perfect. If you, again, if you can get him for 700 coins or less, you'll be making a little bit of profit. I know it's not massive profit. Again, you could late, you could target lazy buyers and list them up for 150 coins or so more. There's a 600 mark out. Um, he is on the rise as well, actually. Um, he was 700 coins earlier on today as a as a low, but he is up to 850, sort of surpassing 900. There was low, there was about 20 pages at 900 earlier on when I was looking, and now there's only seven. There's only seven, so he is on the rise. People are picking him up. Um, that's another thing you'd want to watch out for when um, when when sniping. If you're going to stick to the same method for ages, make sure you do keep an update on his price because if he does drop, then you're going to miss out on coins and lose out on coins. If he rises in price, then you're going to miss out on potential coins that you could pick up. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, mass bidding we've ticked off. And then we'll take one last look at Rafinha. If you guys get yourself a good understanding of like a fair few players, it will make sniping a lot more easier and a lot more beneficial, a lot more profitable for you. But um, sticking to one or two players and just doing it over a set period of time is also fine. Uh, coin balance is going up. You want to drop Rafinha down to 800. Again, you could mass bid on him for 750, 800 and sell him for 1,000 if that's what you preferred to do. But like I say, the market is so like flooded with people wanting to buy players that most of the time you just get outbid. Um, so sniping is by far the better method for me and probably for you guys at this stage. Um, so these are like small coin, small coin uh, trading methods. If you want to go up and then dive into like the big boy stuff, you want to take a look at uh, Lecomte. I believe is in form this week. Benjamin Lecomp. Um, you want to pop him up. You want to check his lowest price. I think he's really, really cheap. Yeah, he's like 12k. I, f I find this mad. For an 84 in form, this is mad. Invest in this guy. Buy this guy. Even for whatever price you get him at. Look at how cheap this is. Again, on rewards day, he's going to be even even lower. 10,750. So his lowest buy now, I think, is about 11,500, isn't it? That's 11. 11,500. If you can get him for 10, 7. Alright, maybe he's even higher than that. So 11,750 seems to be like his his price. But you want to sell him at 11,500 to get an insta sale. 
So if you can get him for 10,750 or 10,500, you'll make a few hundred coins uh, on him as well. So that's another little method you can use is just sniping the informs. Um, see, 1150. If you were to get one at like 10,500, because they're so, so cheap, people are bound to list them at discard and they're bound to be packing him today on rewards day. So there will be a supply onto the market for him. Um, and that's just up for you guys to then find your players. There's another thing I like to do is just go to gold, just search gold on the market. And if there's anyone that has like a certain bid that's like a little bit, a little bit questionable or a little bit more expensive for what you think they might be, um, not really any of these guys. That Strakosha might have been all right. Uh, Diaz, no. Font, no. It's all goalies in it. So that's so that's that. What else did I have? I didn't have any other ones. I think one to watches as well. I will talk about them in the um, in the investment video that will be coming up. But I mean, these are unreal. These are so so cheap. It's unreal. Jolinton again is like maybe 11 or 12 I know he's probably not going to get an upgrade but if you guys have a lot of coins then just invest in a few of these and just stash them on your trade pile just because if an SBC comes out if an SBC comes out and you require a one to watch card for it this will go through the roof it will probably double in price just because of the hype of the SBC if he does score for Newcastle, you've spent 10,000 coins on him. You can get 10,000 coins back and just lose a few hundred coins on tax if you do decide to sell him. But if he does score for Newcastle, just on the hype, he'll probably go up to like 13, 14k just because he'll get an inform or he'll have the potential to get an inform. Um, but that's that's something I will talk about again, one to watch invest in in the, in the next video. So let's go back to the trade bar. We've got all of this. Just clear that out. We've got the Draxer that we can sell for 2.6. Probably should have listed him for 2.7. I've uh, got the Dembele's. I can all list up now for 2.4. You'll see here that I got him that one for 1.7 earlier on today on a snipe. Uh, that one for 1.4, which is like, I don't know, 800-odd coin profit. Uh, drop that back down. 1.5 there, another 900 coin profit on them cards. Dembele is starting to sell already. That one was only 2,000, but that was the maximum I was paying for him because he was up at 2.4. Um, but if you if you guys want to see this live, I will do a lot of this via my Twitch channel. So if you guys want to drop in, it's twitch.tv forward slash bwhd, the same as the YouTube channel name. Um, I should really get a link put in the in the description, but because I upload through PlayStation, it makes it quite hard to put links in the in the description. But that has been the trading video. If you guys have any questions, that one's sold. If you have any questions on trading tips or trading methods, investments or whatever, leave them in the comments down below. The next video will target investments. That'll probably be tomorrow now. But um, like I say, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I will read them out. I will answer it. I'll give you a shout out, whatever, whatever you want. I will read it in the comments. I'll read it out in a video. We're up to 15K now, which means all these Dembele's are going, which is fantastic which means I've made a, a whole ton of profit on them. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, if it does help you make coins, feel free to leave a like, comment. Again, any questions down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We gained a good seven or eight uh, subs yesterday, which was, which was really good, really pleasing. But until tomorrow, guys, I will catch you then. Peace.